Alright guys, welcome back. CFP here and this is Survival Living. So today's video is about food shortages and mainly about our long-term food shortage suppliers. Alright, so Augustin Farms came out with a statement on their stuff. It was about three days ago, I believe it was, and I confirmed it today. I got off the phone with my representatives and also with my own affiliate program representative. Um, August of Farm is going to be shutting down for 90 days as far as putting any orders out and stuff like that because they have a delivery issue as far as getting raw materials and things like that to make their products, certain products. Same with other long-term food storage companies. They're running into the same issue they ran into last year during the shutdown. If you guys remember, last year, all of these companies were sold out. You could not purchase anything or you could pre-purchase and once they got the stock back in, they got you some supplies but it affected everything okay so we've got plenty of August and farm stored up we got it here at the house we've got it here at other locations because we're preppers we don't just stock up on just one just because we're affiliated with one we stock up on as much stuff as possible now fortunate for us we did get affiliated with some of the other companies like legacy we've been with them for over two years but that's not our only long-term food source. We also have Mountain House, we have Augusta Farms, we got Legacy, we've got, um, I think it's Patriot Supply, we've got a supply of theirs. We've got all kinds of different types of stuff. We don't just put in all our eggs in one basket. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm still sick. So, I read the comments. There is no food shortage, it's just that the price of delivery of these items are too high, that's why they're shutting down production. Um, a little bit of fact, because the price of products are so high, it is creating a food shortage. You might not understand how that works. If the price is too freaking high, other suppliers are not going to be manufacturing certain things because they're going to price themselves out of the market, so they say, you know what? We're just not doing it, and that creates a food shortage. That's how that works. Now, there is actual food shortages as of there's certain items that are not available right now. That is true. All right, I've done put up too many articles up for everyone to follow. It is happening across America. All right, it is. There's a shortage on beef. There's a shortage on pork. There's a shortage on chicken. Um, there is juices, snacks. And I read the comments, well, I can survive without snacks. Well, no shit. I even said you could. I just said, it's a good morale booster. Of course you're going to survive without snacks. Don't be a dumbass. All right. Yeah. I read every comment. So when I see your little chicken shit remark, yeah, that's my answer to you. So I got off the phone today with my representative with our affiliate program, their legacy. They are facing shortages as far as the delivery issue, especially getting raw ingredients to manufacture a lot of their products. Now they still have stuff on sale. Um, they're on the website. You guys can check out if you want to. Like I said, we're affiliated with them. Uh, but you will see a lot of stuff that are just that have it labeled out of stock, sold out, out of stock. That's because they have sold out certain products and right now getting these materials in to manufacture more too pricey or they can't get their hands on it. Last shutdown they couldn't get their hands on a lot of items because there were shipping issues. Kind of like right now. The exact same thing. So anyway guys, just a little bit of information for you. Please, if you haven't started prepping, you need to get a fire lit underneath your butt and you better start putting some food back. Um, I've gotten the reports of the Dollar Trees, the Dollar Generals, a lot of them's been out of food for months. Yeah, I mean, maybe not your store just yet, but it's coming. Most of these stores get most of their products from overseas. All right, with the shipping issue that we have, they're not going to be stocked back up anytime soon. I did see where the dollar store is going to be named the Dollar Fifty store. Well, yeah, I mean, <laughs> that's going to be less than that once they don't have anything to put in the store they're just gonna have to shut it down so guys the food prices are going to go crazy there is shortages they're going to be continuing to be shortages until they get all this stuff fixed and that's not happening overnight there's going to be shortages so get your food put back we've talked about this way too many times on this channel and i read the comments well i'm not blah 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 you know what i don't care i don't care anymore i went out of my way to teach to show if you're going to be a stubborn-headed asshole and you're going to sit there and argue with me like a freaking wall, I don't care. 
best of luck to you. That's all I can say. Alright guys, for everyone else, I'll speak to y'all later.